How is it going, my beautiful people out there in the world? Anyway, thank you for joining PR Sense for another review for The Common Guy. Um, today I'm gonna be reviewing uh, one that's been around for a while, since 2019. I saw it at the rack store the other day, and I figured, why not? Um, I already have it, but why not review it? Uh, it's not the cheapest one, but it's, it's one that, you know, if you see it, you probably will be interested in it, and I figured I'd let you know what I think. Again, personal opinion. So if you're interested, stick around. Don't forget, if you do like this video, please subscribe, please like, and please share and comment if you want, all right? So I will see you in a second. Thanks, guys. Bye. What's going on, my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? Uh, thank you for joining PR Sense. Uh, if it's your first time here, thank you for stopping by. If you've been here before, I really appreciate you stopping by again. So anyway, today I figured, um, I went to the rack store the other day and I saw this at the rack store, which was surprising to me. And uh, I figured, why not? Because I have it. So let me review it for you guys. And let me tell you what I think. Uh, so that way, if you do see it and you're interested, you kind of have a, an inkling of what you're getting into with this one. So today we're going to be talking about a Victor and Rolf uh, fragrance, and it is Spice Bomb Night Vision. Usual grenade shape that it has, and this one is interesting. Now, here's here's the, the issue with this one, guys. Um, it gets hate, and it gets, it gets some, some love, but it does get hate because if you have Spice Bomb Extreme, if you have Spice Bomb Regular, which came out before this one did, this one came out in 2019, and uh, you're gonna go into purchasing this based on those two, probably. And those two smell great. I have Spice Bomb Extreme, and it smells delicious. It's, it's performance is great. It smells really, really nice. Uh, I definitely recommend Spice Bomb Extreme um, and Spice Bomb. This one came out in 2019, and it, if you look at the uh, commercial for it, it's geared for the young guy. It even has, you know, this whole green tint going on in there. It's like that night vision look and all that. Um, and you would think, well, you know, it's gonna be just another great one like Spice Bomb Extreme. And it is nothing, nothing like Spice Bomb Extreme. Nothing like Spice Bomb. If this was sold outside of the Spice Bomb name, I don't think it would get as much hate. Um, but since it, it is sold as Spice Bomb, you buy it thinking, well, this is gonna be spicy and it's gonna be just as sweet and, and earthy as, as Spice Bomb Extreme is and lasts me a long time, and it doesn't. Not necessarily saying it's a bad scent. Um, it's just a different scent that I think Victor and Rolf should have put out separately outside of the Spice Bomb realm. Um, its top notes are Granny Smith Apple, Cardamom, Green Mandarin, and Grapefruit. Middle notes are Pepper, Clary Sage, Nutmeg, Red Chili Pepper, Geranium, and Clove. And then its base notes are Tonka Bean, Roasted Almond, and Woody Notes. It has been compared slightly to Invictus, um, and it has been compared to Azaro's Wanted. Now, on the dry down, I get more of an Azaro Wanted by Night kind of scent. Um, I have it on my arm. And a very, very slight similarity to Azaro Wanted by Night and Azaro Wanted. Um, but you kind of do get that a little bit, just a bit. Um, it's very floral, it's very aquatic, it's fresh. Um, all the green notes they're trying to put in there, I don't think you get like the green notes. So it's got a top note of Granny Smith Apple, and I don't get it. I don't get the Granny Smith Apple that much. Now, Nautica Voyage has Granny Smith Apple in it, and that smells, like I've said in my previous review, 
it's apple through and through. Like you just get that great, just apple scent and it just sticks with you and it smells delicious. Um, here, I don't really get it. Um, I do get the, the geranium. I do get a little bit of the spiciness, um, that warm woody note, the roasted almond. I get all of that, but it's not, it's not like a, a nautical voyage where you smell that Granny Smith apple, you smell, you know, grapefruit, things like that. Um, this, you just get the spiciness and floralness, but more mild. On the dry down, it, like I said, smells nice too. Um, and, you know, the atomizer, nice atomizer. In the air, it smells delicious. And I think you get more of the grapefruit than you do the Granny Smith apple. Um, but again, you know, it's it's uh, it's not Spice Bomb Extreme. It just isn't. It's not um, Azaro Wanted by Night, although it does smell on the dry down a little bit like it. So, you know, its uh, main accords are warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, aromatic, fruity, citrus, vanilla, uh, sweet, fresh, amber, and herbal. Um, and I get the spiciness and I get the grapefruit, I get the floral, uh, I get the vanilla as well. But, you know, it's just a nice scent, guys. It, it, it is a nice scent if you think of it outside of the Spice Bomb realm. Um, now, it's a younger scent um, and would, is it worth the money? Uh, especially if you have things like Invictus or if you have things like uh, uh, Azaro's Wanted or Wanted by Night, would I go purchase this knowing what I know now? Probably not, because uh, Victor and Rolf's website has it for about $120. Fragrantica has a 1.7 ounce bottle for 81 and a 3.4 for 120. I saw it at TJ Maxx for 90. Would I spend $90 on this? No, I wouldn't. Um, I'd wait till it goes, you know, way down in price. Is it a good scent? Yeah, it is. But it's, for me, my personal opinion, it's longevity is maybe on my skin, two hours tops, and then it disappears. It becomes like this really light skin scent. Um, it's projection, same thing. It becomes a skin scent. It just, it just doesn't like project at all. Uh, maybe for the first hour you'll smell it, but then after that it's gone. Um, you know, so it's value for what you're getting for the Victor and Roth name. I would wait. I would definitely wait. Um, but it is a good scent. On its own, it's a nice scent. But if you're a mature guy, if you're up in your 50s or, you know, 200 age range like myself, uh, it's... It's nice, but I would wear this more honestly to go to the supermarket, to you know, do quick errands and things like that. I would not wear this on a night out. Um, some people have said it's a clubbing fragrance, and yeah, maybe it can be for a young guy, um, but you're gonna have to spray, you know, overspray it because it doesn't last that long. So that is my review of Spice Bomb Night Vision. I wanna get Spice Bomb Infrared because I've heard great things about that one and I did smell it and it smells delicious it's it, it's just a really nice much much spicier uh, scent and I want to get my hands on that this one would I recommend it yeah but don't go all out of your way to get it you know if you pick it up if you can get it cheap get it you know and again it's more of a daytime regular you know scent it is versatile I think you could wear it throughout the year but you know, it is what it is. So I hope this review was good for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor. Please like, please subscribe. Please subscribe. I really need the subscriptions. And uh, hit that notification bell so that way you get informed every time I put out a video, which is usually Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, please share, comment, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have Spice Bone Night Vision and what you think. Again, I'm not saying it's a bad scent. I'm just saying that as, as far as the lineage of Spice Bomb goes, it should not have been a Spice Bomb. It should have been something else. 
Um, but it is, it's a nice scent. So there you have it, guys. As always, be safe, be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.